Hi, this is Diane Wyconnect from my studio at Perfect Handcrafted Soap. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make an inspirational video to inspire you to be very creative. Um, my business is brand new and I wanted to introduce myself and my husband um, during this video and uh, we're going to make some great fall inspired soap. So what I want to show you is how I was inspired by fall. I went to Michael's a few weeks ago and bought leaves and maple leaves and uh, looks like acorn leaves. And what I decided to do is because we're washing our hands more and more, this would be a cute idea for somebody's bathroom. So what I did is took Mountain Pour Clear Soap dipped each of the leaves. It's pretty labor intensive. There's some fragrance oil um, in the um, mountain pour. Dip each of the leaves and voila, cuteness. So I got a leaf inspired plate and put all my little leaves on here. I put some mountain pour pumpkins that I thought was cute. And this is going to be in my bathroom. So anytime somebody comes to my house and wants to wash their hands, they can take a leaf, wash, 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 and throw it away, rinse their hands, and but it's awesome and cute. So I want you to um, be able to, to do this. It's very simple and uh, it'll make your bathroom smell um, great and look great. Okay. So what inspired me to make this soap today was this great book. It's called Homemade Soap Recipes. It's um, written by Olivia Garden and it can be purchased at Amazon. Um, there are a lot of terrific recipes in here um, and uh, inspired to me to make my lovely lather soap today. And um, pick it up and uh, I hope you're inspired. So what I have today is we're going to make a soap and the inspiration is ginger snap and pumpkin and boy does this smell like fall. I've made some lovely mountain pour little leaves. I have different kinds, maple leaves, acorn leaves and little pumpkins and I put a little um, mic on here, Echo Friendly Mica, and it looks like it was just kissed by frost. So we're going to add those to the top of the soap and check out these little leaves. Are uh, these not the cutest? I went to Michael's when I went to uh, purchase the little leaves. These are cute autumn leaves and we're going to sprinkle those also. They're made of sugar and uh, we're going to sprinkle those on top. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, get my lye water together and my, all my oils, um, bring it to temperature, and I'll explain more uh, when we come back. What I thought I'd do while the lye water and the um, oils are coming um, to temperature, I usually soak at about 110 degrees. I'm going to explain what I have um, that will make this soap making process a lot easier. I have a whisk and spatulas. I have my thermometer. Uh, the digital thermometer is wonderful and you absolutely need it. It can be purchased at Amazon. We have our gloves for safety. We have our safety goggles. Very, very, very important. And speaking of safety, if you want to watch Anne Marie's videos from Brambleberry on um, the safety and she has wonderful safety instructions. Um, terrific, terrific, terrific. It scared me, but it's very essential. So we need a stick blender, very important. And mine is a Hamilton Beach. And um, it, this is the second one I've had because I made so much soap. So wonderful thing to use. We have our uh, mold and my husband has graciously marked off um, for 10 soaps. We're going to make 10 soaps out of this and every so many inches I know where to lay my embed. So we have one of these. We have our colors. 
we have our titanium dioxide mixed with water. We have orange, bright orange. It's Adobe Orange from Craft is Choice. Beautiful color, beautiful. And we have Sexy Man. What was this? Sexy, Sexy Stranger on a Train from Mad Micah's. How cute is that title? And then we have Honey from Baltic Day and that can be purchased at Amazon. So these are the colors we'll be using. Put these aside. Of course, we're gonna be using some sensational glitter from Mad Micas. They have wonderful Micas. Can't say enough about that. We have our alcohol, which we will spray on top of our soap when everything is done. We will be using sodium lactate to help release the soap from the mold. Um, I use about uh, a teaspoon. I use that when the um, soap comes, well, the, the um, lye water is about 120, 125 degrees. And uh, we will do some piping. So I have a, an extra large piping tip and uh, a Wilton bag. And I just place this in a cup until I'm ready to use it. And, oh, again, we have our wonderful fragrance, Ginger, Snap, and Pumpkin, which is a crafter's choice, and uh, I purchased it at Wholesale Supplies Plus. So, our recipe, this will hold about 43 ounces worth of um, soap. So, we use oat milk, which is actually... Um, distilled water and oats. I soak it uh, for a couple hours and then strain the oats and voila, oat milk. It's great for your skin, so I love using it. We're going to use 11.3 um, ounces. Everything is in ounces of um, oat milk. The oat milk also has Tessa silk and uh, that's a silk that I use and it's great for um, kind of a slickness uh, of the soap bar. I use a, a little, probably a little handful of that and it actually dissolves in my lye water. Um, coconut oil, we use 10.2 ounces. Olive oil, the best olive oil, 10.2 ounces. Sustainable palm oil, love this stuff, 6.8 ounces. Cocoa butter, 1.7. Castor oil for the hardness, 1.7. Sunflower oil, um, great for the skin, 3.4 ounces. And what we have um, in our um, oils are colloidal oats, can't say it, uh, kaolin clay and uh, chamomile powder and coconut milk powder. So these are all skin loving ingredients that we're gonna be using in our soap today. So I'll come back when everything is about 115 degrees 110 degrees and make some soap. Hi, we're back. Lye water is at temperature and so are my oils and all my uh, wonderful skin loving um, ingredients. So we are at 106.7 lye water and our oils are at 107.9. You can see that. They're within 10 degrees of each other. So I am going to put my stick blender in my oils. I am going to slowly add my lye water right down the shaft of my stick blender. Everything safety first. Slow, slow, slow and steady. going to bring it to a light trace. That means I'm only doing it for a few seconds. Because I know that I am going to 
continue stick blending while I'm in using, um, mixing the colors up. So each of the colors has oil except the titanium dioxide is mixed with water. It's a little messy. That's why we wear safety equipment. All right. And how you can tell is the liquid traces itself on each, on the surface. So let me get my. Spatula and get all this good stuff. All right. I am going to pour my mixture into each of these containers. I'm going to put more into the one with titanium dioxide because I want to do a topping, a high top. Each of them are getting a bit of so mixture. And I might need some more in here. And a little each. out all of these wonderful ingredients because soap making is not cheap and you want to garner all this wonderful skin loving ingredients. The best thing about making homemade soap is you get to control what goes into your mixture and what goes onto your skin. Um, so Wipe this a bit. Having lots of paper towels is crucial, so you've got to make a mess. So, put this over here. And I don't have the lightest, the darkest, and titanium dioxide. I always use a stick. Of to orange. Now we need a little bit of mixing and I'm going to go to my gold, my honey. We're going to go to the color has vanillin in it so it's going to discolor to a light tan so we're, we don't really have to worry about it being really kooky. All right so I am going to mix in my wonderful fall scented color. I mean my uh, scent A little in each. Put a little in here. Set that aside. And I will hand stir it. So that's why you need this. This whisk. Some people will stick blend it. I just like to do it by hand. Mix it well. The scent is amazing. It smells like fall. Smell nutmeg and clove and cinnamon and pumpkin. Yum, 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 yum. All right. I think that's good enough. I need a little more swirl. And I think that's good enough. 
that's good. Oh. So this is kind of a real color. It's not your pure white because of all the other ingredients I have in it. So it's perfect for fall. It's maybe a little lighter than this. Let me get my mold. So we have the one inch markings and uh, we're going to make 10 soaps out of this. So let me get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do kind of a simple pour and it's, it's already thickening up and it might be because of the fragrance oil. We're going to just pour down the middle, kind of. Just at random, it will get a very simplistic swirl back and forth, thickening up. It's not too crazy. So when you buy scents, especially on wholesale surpluses website, they tell you. If anything, kooky is going to happen. Um, so for beginners, be like well behaved. Um, fragrance oils, like me. Alrighty. See, it's kind of consistency like an oatmeal. And we're pouring. Very creative. You can use a hanger to do a hanger swirl, but I'm just going to continue this until we're done. Sometimes while you're waiting for your topper to set up, um, some of my scents have, it's been about an hour. It's crazy. You just never know how long it's going to take for something to set up. Craziness. All right. So we have... Just a little bit of this. And we have a little bit of brown. is going to be to make a beautiful soap ball. Alright. Alrighty, so we have lots of dishes to do. That's why I lots of napkins. So that's what it kind of looks like. You just layered one on top of another. It's going to be just a pretty swirl. 
what you can do is kind of flatten it out if you want. And we'll come along in a few minutes after the soap is ready and um, we'll put a nice topper on it and then we'll use our embeds. We'll be right back. Hi, we're back. I just wanted to show you what the topping crossing should look like. It almost looks like a cake frosting or a cake batter and we'll see if it's good enough. You actually, I can't tell till I actually try to pipe it and uh, we'll see. Oh. Seems a bit runny down here so we will try it. We might have to be back again. But like I said, some sense Fragrance oils set up very quickly and um, others don't. So it's uh, anybody's guess unless somebody puts something in the comments section um, as you buy the fragrance oil, you won't really know. The ones that move very, very fast really scare me. So um, more advanced soapers don't have any problems with it, but I tend to shy away from um, scary fragrances. My best advice to new soapers is watch a lot of videos and very different videos. There are some wonderful um, and creative ideas from soapers you can get. Um, so, all right, wipe my hands. Paper towels are your best friends as a soaper. All right, let's see where what we can do. So, as you see, getting more in my hand. Okay. Oh no, the piping tip came off. No, no, it just got, what happened here? All right, uh-oh. It's coming out of the bag. Let me see if we can still work with it. Yep, it works fine. Oh, things are scary when you try to do things, especially videos. So we are just doing dollops using this piping tip. And you're just gonna take your time and put little dollops here. Nothing goes very perfectly, so um, you're going to have little scares and little accidents and things that make your heart go a flutter, but it's just soap. It all works in the end. And then when you make your videos, you can show that things aren't perfect. It's done in real life. About this you can cover all your little mistakes with your sprinkles and your embeds it's all good Ooh, there we go again coming up 
There we have just enough. So, yay, we did that. So, what we're going to do is take these little embeds and I'm going to put a pumpkin oop, right here. Kind of a big pumpkin. Oh, maybe I'll put them on top. I'll just put them on top. Put some leaves. So I'm going to go in the middle of the two one inch lines that my wonderful husband has made for me. So we're going to mix things up. Pumpkins and leaves. Exactly in the middle, but close enough. All right. And one more. What should I do? Oh, this is cute. I'll put this on the side. How cute is that? Does that scream full? Then I have enough for another soap. Boo woo. So I'm going to come back and put these little cuties on. Um, a little sugar. And again, you can pick this up at Michael's. And anytime you're doing soap, let something inspire you, uh, whether it's a movie or um, a season of the year or somebody says something, you're like, oh, that would be wonderful if I did that. Or your cats. Um, I make cat soaps. Uh, some of my friends have dogs, so I made dog, so dog themed soaps or dog soaps for them. Um, so the sky's the limit. So what do you think? Is that not the cutest? So, what I'm going to do is put some Man Mica Sparkle Plenty. So, I'm just going to take gingerly. I have to have some sparkle. It's all good. Love this glitter. I get it everywhere. And we're going to use our alcohol and we're going to spray it down. So we have a lovely smelling um, fall inspired soap. Um, we have our embeds and um, our little sprinkles and we have the glitter the biodegradable skin loving glitter the reason i put alcohol on this is to prevent soda ash and if you get that then there are other ways to deal with it but um, what i will do next is put this in a box lay blankets on the top after i folded um, the little flaps Sometimes I take it out in one day if I get really impatient or usually like three days. Hi, good morning. I'm so excited we get to unveil our soap and I wanted to show you what this looks like. It survived, we call it the Sleeping Beauty. And um, we waited three days and voila, soap. So my husband is going to cut it. He's going to show you our um, homemade cutter. And let's see what happened. I love these little silicone molds. Oh, beautiful. Doing the happy dance. These are easy to wash and uh, Everything came out beautifully. You can see uh, the little swirls and they should be even more beautiful once we cut the soap and the smell. 
Oh, it smells like fall. It looks like fall. All the leaves are here and the pumpkins and the um, mountain pours. So I urge you to try this. Good morning. I'm Ken, Diane's husband, and uh, we're going to cut the soap that we made the last couple of days here. This uh, cutter, I just took it, looked at some examples on the internet that people were selling for a couple hundred dollars. Went out to my garage and grabbed some pieces of wood that looked like they would fit together and do the job. And I built this. The only pieces that I needed to purchase um, was the slider that we use underneath for the, uh, it's um, a drawer um, slider for a, a cabinet drawer, about $10 at Home Depot. And I just got one that was long enough to do the length of soaps that I anticipated being um, necessary to cut. We do have um, other trays that are about 12 by 12, so I wanted to have enough distance to cut a 12 inch, um, 12 inch piece. You'll see today we don't need anywhere near that because we're just doing three, three inch. Um, in addition to that, I went to a music store and uh, bought a, um, a, a tuner replacement piece that you can tighten up and a string. Um, I, this was a pretty fine uh, string and I might even have, I don't know what, it's a 0 .2, 0.02 uh, size string. Um, I managed to break one at one point in time, um, but it was because um, of some embeds that were really hard that were in the soap and I had pushed too hard. Um, but otherwise this has lasted um, a long time, so it works really well. So, and it's a good size um, for cutting the soap. Okay. Um, so what I do is um, we'll take the, the soap and remember that we made these uh, marks on the, um, on the mold. They are one inch apart. The mold is 10 and a quarter inches uh, long inside. And so the first mark is an eighth of an inch in and then they're one, inches after, one inch after that. And that's so that we can cut one inch pieces of soap um, and we'll go down in between the embeds that Diane put in um, on top. So we need to cut just a little bit off of the end of the first one. Uh, and so we get a nice square cut. But remember, we have an extra eighth of an inch on both ends. So we can take a little bit off of that. So we'll just line that up here and uh, make our first cut to give us a, 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 uh, an edge. Might not be quite enough. And we'll take a little bit more than that off to get a good squared edge. There we go. And this soap is fairly firm. Uh, depends on how long you let it go and really what's the makeup of the soap. But I generally try to push it away with my fingers um, in that way rather than grabbing it in that because then it um, marks the, the soap. So we're going to go slice down through each one of these. So after I'm done with one like that, I'll push it to the side, pull the bar off, and there's the pattern that the soap has on the inside. And now we just work our way down through the bar here. This, this piece is set, um, if you can see it, um, on the end where I can adjust it, but it's set to a one inch width that um, we're cutting, cutting the soap to. And as I said, um, I can do a large slab that would have three or four bars going this direction, as well as then slicing them down to make um, 48. Uh, bars of soap uh, and so this cutter just you just slice all the way down through those um, I do the I move this over to the width that I want and slice them all the way through make basically four of, of these or however the width works out and then individually slice them like this once we uh, have them down to there 
individual bars for little leaves floating here all over my cutter. And it's important to get those embeds in the right place on top of the soap because as you can see if they're not quite right I had to kind of cheat a little bit on one of them and now we're off a bit on the end here when I get a nice square cut. So this bar is just a little bit bigger than the other ones. But okay, so that's how the um, the cutting process goes, and I and I'll come back to wrap things up. Hello again. This is so exciting. It worked. You can see how beautiful the design turned out, and the smell is terrific. So these will be available um, in both the Etsy shop, that's Black Cat Soapery, and our website. Perfect hand crafted soaps. And all the recipes and everything that we use will um, be placed on um, at the bottom of our the little screen. And uh, these will be available in a few weeks uh, for purchase. So thank you for coming and I hope this inspired you because I'm so happy. Bye.